My name is Irma Slavinskaita. I'm Senior Product Marketing Manager at Interol, and I'm very happy to have our Executive Vice President and Head of Products and, Logist and uh, uh, Technology, Jens Struving, with us. Good afternoon, Irma, and hi, everyone watching, and warm welcome from our South German um, location in Sinsheim, which is the center of excellence for sorters and um, still to it today conveyors. There is a strong um, demand for additional systems, sortation systems, but also conveying systems. And to cope this demand, or to cope with this demand, we have to invest into capacities. And we have decided already before the crisis that we are going to double our capacities. And this is what we have been doing um, already, or wh what we are doing at the moment. Starting in Americas, we did right. double our capacities at our location in Hiram, where we did add a second production um, facility. In Sushu, nearby Shanghai, we had just two months ago our groundbreaking, strategy, um, groundbreaking ceremony, where we are at the moment in the construction phase of a new production location with basically 25,000 square meters. And the cell split will go into this direction that we are going to relocate mm -hmm. the partial conveyors and the pallet conveyors to a new location 20 kilometers to the north from here in Mosbach in June um, this year to have additional capacity for those um, assembly operations, but also setting free capacities here in the location of Sinsheim by taking out the, the pallet conveyor and having here the possibility to double our capacities for the sortation assembly. It sounds very promising. Does it mean also that our customers will have shorter lead times as well? For sure, this is a, task, a, a target of um, all what we are doing at the moment. Sounds perfect. And I think we have not only increased capacities, we have also full pipeline of innovations and products to launch this year additionally. So when launching split race sorter and the next product to come is the belt curve, which offers for especially for fashion and cap industry um, huge benefits. And also not to mention, not to forget to mention our smart pallet mover, the, the very new product for the market, which is really targeting manufacturing logistics. I think it's really great um, innovation in terms of safety and of the automation of the last mile that we're offering to our customers. So the really last mile before in front of machines, uh, pallet handling in a safe and smart way and manner. The next topic I think we have uh, when we're talking about uh, technology is digitalization. So it's a kind of buzzword and every single company is using that uh, for different purpose, for different reason and explain in different way. And I think we at Interval find really great way to combine this both, which is beneficial for our customers most. So what is your strategy there, Jens? Uh, I have to come up with a, with a small story from my history. A professor of myself, and I'm now 50 years old, so it is almost 30 years ago, he did tell me, or he did tell the audience, the students, a shitty product, which will be digitalized, will be still a shitty product, but <laughs> digitalized. And this is something what you That's really true. have to bear in mind. Digitalization should bring addi additional value, either to the products and therefore to the customers or to your internal processes. Right. And this is basically the dual strategy what Interol is following. On one side, we want to bring additional value to the products. I can, can give here you some some keywords like preventive maintenance um, possibilities, but also giving status information about your systems. But we're also talking about the internal process digitalization. We should, should give you some advantages in the order entry, in the order processing, in the production process, but also giving a clear understanding and a clear status of where a product is at the moment during the production phase. And this is exactly the reason why we did decide to launch, beside the well-known um, cross-belt sorter solutions, what we're already offering to the market, also split-ray um, um, sorter, which is specially de dedicated to this 
small size, low weight um, particles with a very high throughput on the other side. Yes, I think we want to really enable our customers um, to automatize th those sortation solutions and uh, be faster and have higher throughputs um, to cope with market requirements and consumer requirements. And um, the new split tray sort is really a good starting point also for smaller companies that want to move from the manual sortation to the automatic sortation. We did split the sortation markets into three segments. On one side, we have this, we, we call it basic segment. Mm -hmm. So you see here low volumes up to 12 kgs, small size um, parcels with a sortation speed of 1.5 meter per second, which can transfer it in a, in a throughput of around about 10,000 pieces um, an hour. Then on the other um, edge, you have the high speed segment where you have the high speed um, conveyor where you can handle goods up to 50 kg with a much bigger size up to 1.2 meters to 600 centimeters and with a much higher sortation speed um, up to 2.5 meters per second and for some applications even higher. And in between those two segments we have the so-called basic segment where we are offering our well-known and proven solutions, the vertical um, cross belt sorter and the horizontal um, cross belt um, sort of which is very well known to you, the audience and to the market. With our proven sortation portfolio we can really cover all those needs because every customer can really pick and choose the right solution for his one. For a smaller company he can have a start entry sortation solution with our split tray sorter and then also high performing solution with high performance cross belt sorter. So we talked about um, our investments about increasing our capacities. We have talked about also new products in the pipeline and about sortation portfolio. What is our customer promise actually? What is add-on? Because one is really what we're doing, but I think we need to also add on and explain our customers what's really our strategy behind and what is our really promise to the customer and in which topics we are focusing on. The first one is quality. The second one is speed. And the third one is, I do call it easiness, you can call it simplicity. Starting with the quality, we want to offer proven solutions um, to the market. This starts with a very extremely designed production development process, which then goes into a test phase for every new product that we can really offer proven solutions to the market. So we are not using the market as a kind of sandbox. We're having our sandbox within our own factory and where we are really testing um, our products so that we really can optimize those products so to offer um, proven solutions. Then coming to speed. Speed is of essence. We have to offer today in a very fast manner products to the market. As the markets are changing so fast and again, I ju just can mention the actual situation where suddenly um, a lot of um, end users were switching to the e-commerce. So the demand for additional capacities was coming up as fast as well. So our task is also with the new split trace order to bring a product from the order to the delivery um, really fast to the end user. And our target and promise is here to bring a split trace order from order to delivery within 16 weeks to the um, final customer. And last but not least, it's easiness. We want to have a product which is easy to understand, easy to handle by our customers and also by the end users, which is easy to maintain, where parts are easy to replace, if you have to replace a motor or whatever, and which is then at the end of the day also easy to refurbish because we also have to think about our environmental perspective and we don't want to produce throwaway products. So how would you summarize and see what is the most important topic for you actually when you see the, the market itself and the needs on the market? Yeah, the market is, is, is changing and as I said, um, the habits are changing, the habits of the end users, the habits of us are changing and we have to cope with these changes and we have to support our customers in having the possibility um, to offer exactly 
the demands the end user have at the end of the day. And this means for us to offer the right products at the right time um, to our market. And this is our major um, um, tasks at the very moment, starting in the development um, phase, going into the production phase with all of the capacities um, we have to offer, with all of the flexibility we have to offer, but also offering a great service so that the products we are putting into the market um, will maintain um, their usability. Some few hours ago, I was talking to a good friend of mine about the Lego principle. And this is exactly how our platform concept should be understood. Our platforms, they have single elements. We call them products. And those products can, are, can be matched with other products. And this is like the Lego bricks. You can build um, a model out of several bricks. And it's exactly what you can do with the intro products. You can build systems out of the different um, products. And you have to put a framework around so that the products can talk to each other, they can be connected to each other, and they can be used um, in the way the system um, is requiring their, their uses. With the electronics, electrics and the software solution, we want to bring additional value to our existing customer base. And as you all know, we are working together with system integrators and OEMs. And I, I have been asked, hmm, why are you now going into the electric business and why are you going into the software and control business? And I was always telling them, imagine you're going shopping and you're standing in front of a shelf in the supermarket and you're looking at your shopping list saying, oh, I need a yogurt. You pick out a yogurt of, in, on, from one um, shelf. I need a bread, I need a butter and you're grabbing whatever you need. And this is exactly what we want to do. Today, we can offer diff different products, different modules where the customer can choose whatever he needs for his system Right. And now we have a kind of vertical integration. We can also offer electric solutions and we can offer additional software solution to these products. And it's really beneficial for our customers. I think just really grab solution they need and see what's additional uh, added value is uh, required. So it's a kind of reduced of headache to, to search for third parties for controls or whatever, because at intro, of course, we're offering proven products. So all the interfaces are cl clarified. Um, we test our products in a long term, also long life time test. So I think it's really very beneficial. Do you have ambitions to become a full system integrator? No, not at all. And this is a very, very clear statement. We want to be an independent right. developing and production company. And we have today a customer base, which are system integrators and OEM. And what we want to do, we want to do business together with them. And we want, don't want to become system integrators. There are a lot of examples where production companies have this ambition and where they have not been saying, polite, saying it politely, not so successful. Very clear message. No, we don't want to get a full system integrator. Oh, there was another question coming in. Ah. <laughs> Can you also help end customers directly um, with, for example, planning? If, we, if, we, if you want to go into a kind of consultancy activity, there is a possibility together with a, with a system integrator um, to help doing some, I call it consultancy work in supporting them to make decisions on systems. Therefore, I really want to answer this question with yes, but always in connections with a, with a system integrator. Thanks a lot for listening. Keep in, stay in touch with us. Keep us calling, keep us contacting. Our sales team is looking forward um, to have contact with you. And I would say thanks a lot and see you next time. Thank you very much. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay tuned. Bye. Bye.